Hi guys, welcome to Upward Bounds Organizing Things Neatly. If you Google Organizing Things Neatly, you'll find that there's a guy who takes all kinds of things and organizes them into a really neat photo, and a lot of people have copied him. So, one of the tasks we're going to do is take all the loot you got, either picked up at the school or got in a bag or got mailed to you, and organize and inventory it. So, I tried to do this earlier, and turns out the recording got corrupted. And so we switched cameras, and I've already set the stuff out here. So you can see I've unpacked the bag. I put the bag here. And the whole idea is to lay things out as neatly and as coolly as possible and to be creative with it. And you can look at some examples online of how different people have done this. In this case, I took my Upward Bound hat, my Upward Bound shirt, my Upward Bound bag. I started with the bigger things and put them out. And we want to be talking about this thing called... CRAP or CRAP design principles. C is contrast, so we might want to make sure things are easy to see on the background. So I got this blanket that gave a nice big uh, solid colored covering. Uh, repetition is when you have something similar. So I have these three bottles that are identical, so I'm putting them in a, arranging them in an identical fashion. And uh, A is, um, let's see, CR alignment. So in this case, you see these three things are centered. These things are lined up. They have a common edge here. And then I have another set of things. So you want to always bear these in mind as you're designing. And I'm just going to start randomly taking things and see what I can do with them. The tools are kind of cool. You've got a hot air gun and a glue gun. And those are things you can hopefully use the rest of your life. So even though we might just use them a little bit, you can have them the whole time. And you have to decide how you would like to present them, keep them in the boxes or take them out. In this case, I might spiral the cord around it and do that. Or if you want to get creative, you can actually do something like that. And I really just want everybody to sort of create their own signature look. You're going to take one picture when you're done. Got these little batteries and a bunch of other batteries. Trying to get all the other stuff. You should have one package of these. And I'll just bring all of this. Should have some sharpies, some pliers, some pencils, some scissors, and this particular little. Careful, these are sharp. This little Nalgene bottle. So, see if I can come up with a way to do something cool with these. Now, somehow I ended up with two left hands. <laughs> um, hopefully, you have a right and a left hand, and hopefully, your hands are a little bit. Uh, smaller and they'll fit in this. Mine won't. So that's going to look clever. Little knot tying set. So we can open these up. And I'm going to put that there. And you can really go as far or as near as you'd like with this. I don't want you to worry too much about it. These activities are not meant to take too long. Um, but they should be a little bit interesting and a little bit fun. And the final P in the crap design principles is proximity. So you want things to not imagine there are people in a mall. Nobody wants to be too close and nobody wants to be too far apart. So you look at things that anything that's too close to something else you might want to adjust. So things like the pencils, I think you each have about eight of them. So you can decide how you want those to look. In this case, I'm just going to randomly put them in alternate directions. And that starts to look like a good deal of our things, except we have a lot of little things in here. I'm going to get the rest of the stuff. You have some regular tape, some electrical tape, some wire, some glue sticks, some wood stick, some super glue, a funnel. Now I'm finding with the small things, little places I can store them. You can get clever if you want with how you arrange things. And the glue sticks we could take out or leave in. Your call. And 
and just a few more things. Now you should have most of this stuff and probably some additional things that I've missed um, and maybe even some slightly different color things. There's a tennis ball missing because somebody behind the camera okay, was bouncing listen, one around. Okay, listen, that's not my fault. Where is it? I don't know. Well, you should have three tennis balls. So keep your family members away from your loot. And if you got really clever, you could actually balance the tennis balls. But I don't see how you would do that with more than that one. So because they're similar, we're going to organize them in a similar fashion. And hey, why not put this between the two? Should have two AA batteries. Mine don't match, sadly. So I'm going to do that. Some super glue, some rocks. I think you all got more rocks than me. I just got two little rocks, but we can do something with that. And rubber bands. And this had a lot of little things in it. That gets a little trickier. You could even take a piece of paper or something and arrange these on it. But the magnet holds a lot of this together. So we have the strings, the uh, this a wire. You should have two pieces of this pull string. And a bunch of erasers. Bunch of different colors. There should be at least enough to put two on each pencil. Oh, there I have some additional rocks. So if you're OCD, this is probably going to be a challenging exercise for you. And uh, I wonder if I'm short on erasers. Here's more rocks. Because knowing when to stop is sort of tricky. And then I have a bunch of magnets. I have my uh, container here. And I seem to have misplaced the lid. So keeping track of stuff. This is all kind of important for your lab. That'll be a little tricky. And I have a little more of the bead wire here. You should have four little magnets for the plastic tips. And then a variety of other magnets that when you put them too close together they will jump to each other. So you have to put them far enough apart that they don't jump. So I'm going to put them there and there and not separate them. And apart from the plastic lid to this, which my knee is on. That just about does it. Oh, by the way, on this, on these um, bottles, you need to push this down over the, the lip here so they don't come apart. I thought it was a manufacturing error, but it turns out you have to do that with your bottle. And then, because this is also a branded item, I'm going to put that there. And for purposes of this exercise, we're going to call that done. And what you want to do is take a nice picture, ideally as close as you can from the top down. And the tighter you can make things, the better. So if I were spending more time, I think I would move everything closer together and see if I could fit it in half, half the space. And then what you want to do, once you've taken a couple pictures of that, ideally from above and the side, you're going to write down everything you have. And that way, and you want to write it down, you don't want to write smart water, you want to write water, comma, bottled, comma, smart, three of the size, and water, comma, bottled, comma, Voss, and so on. So it's as clear as possible what you have. And that should do it. So thank you very much. I hope this has been helpful, and I really look forward to you having a little fun with this and seeing what you come up with. So I decided to try something a little different and see if I could make what I did before into a little bit more of a compact footprint. And here you have the result.
I got most of the things on the shirt and probably with a little more time could put them close together. Things like the magnets are challenging if you want to keep them separate. And while I'm on this, um, there are some things that I'm missing. For example, baby oil and I don't have the blue dish soap and I don't have balloons yet and my bright bottle is plastic and yours should be metal and you should have two of them. So there are going to be some differences like that, but that's fine. So get creative, have a little fun with it, and try and take a good picture from the top, looking down, maybe with a couple different angles, to capture everything. Na 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 na